Hello everyone, my name is Alexander Mendes and today I'm going to show you how to do a JDBC connection test to a database using a graphical user interface in a Linux Unix environment. These, st these steps here are not related to any uh, Informatica specific product. It works, it's useful for any, any product. Okay, so the agenda for the video first is uh, you need to download the JDBC test utility that's available in this multimedia KB. There is a zip file for you to download it. After you download it, you need to FTP it to your server, Linux or Unix machine. You put it in any director that you want. Yeah. After you put it, the zip file there, you need to unzip it and change the file permission to uh, executable one. This can be done by chmod plus x. You need to work with a x windows utility. This is useful because since it's a graphical uh, interface, you need a x windows emulator. You need to set the display environment variable. It has to be set to the client machine IP address that you are using. Before you do the testing, you you can try this utility X clock just to make sure your X window works as expected. And finally, you run a JDBC utility test and do a testing. Let me show you by this example. Okay, so I just created this um, slash tmp slash jdbc test directory. I'm in this testing, in this testing here, I'm using a Linux server and I uploaded the zip file to this directory. Now I'm going to unzip it. Okay has been done. It creates this test for JDBC directory. Let me clear here. Okay. Like I said, you need to change the, the permission, the file permission sh since it's a linux box okay now it has executable permission for this testing here i'm using the moba xterm which is a x window emulator okay like i said you need to set your display environment variable In my example here the ip address on my Client machine is this one, ten fifty three one fifty two dot one zero one. So I need to set the display to this one. As you can see, ten dot fifty three dot one fifty two dot one zero one column zero dot zero. Okay, it has been done. Now I can do a testing just to make sure it's working. So what I do is, I call this X clock. It most likely is going to ask you this question. You say yes. As you can see, it opens a clock here, a graphical clock. So, okay, it's working. Now, what we do is rerun the test for JDBC. Okay, if you get this error message, what you need to do is just run this command line. DOS to Unix test. It just converted to Unix for format. Now I, I can rerun it. Same question. Yes. Okay. Now it's open. 
you just hit here this press here to continue okay when it it shows this window you go to connection connect to db here it opens a list of the available database like a sql server db2 sybase oracle using the seed oracle use the service name i'm going to test using this one so what you need to do here is put the the name of your db server or the ip address in my case is brgcsdb2 the port number the listener port number i'm going to use the default one and the src name which is also brgcsdb2 then you a database username it can be any in my case here I'm going to use the system and hit connect wait for a minute so the connection has been established so in this way you just tested a JDBC connection against this database In summary, today you have learned how to run a JDBC connection testing using a GUI in a Linux Unix environment. We'd love to hear from you. Please get in touch by support videos at informatica.com or by Twitter, InfoSport. Thank you.